Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert numbers to different numbering systems. Uh, primarily I'll show the examples of converting decimals to hexadecimals and vice versa and also converting decimals to a binary number format and also vice versa. So let's first start off with the hex hexadecimal system. Um, in order to do this, you need to have the uh, analysis tool pack installed on Excel. And in order to do that, you can just go under uh, the file tab and go under options and to install it. So let's go ahead and check out how it's installed. So I'm under the file tab here and I, all I need to do is go under options and click there. In the Excel options window, we need to go under the add-ins group here. Under the Manage, we need to go ahead and select the Excel add-ins here. So if I click Go, we will give you an add-ins window, and you need to select the Analysis Tool Pack. I already have that selected, so I'm going to go ahead and just cancel out of this. So in order to use uh, the functions where you want to uh, convert from decimal to hex, and hex to decimal, and decimal to binary, and also maybe octal, which is not covered here, you need to have that Analysis Tool Pack installed. So once that's installed, uh, all we need to do is utilize the commands. So for example, I have a bunch of decimal numbers here. Uh, I can just type in equal deck to hex, and I'll just select that second one here, double click that, and select that number. And I can just press enter to accept it as is, and I'll go ahead and double click the fill handle down here to copy it down. So that's the hex number here. So it, it by default, it will um, adjust to the amount of uh, characters that it needs. So, but if you wanted to have uh, leading characters, let's say we want, uh, instead of having two places, we want to have four places, uh, maybe that's more commonly seen, you have four, 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 for hexadecimal, we can put four there. I can press Control Enter, and it will put some leading zeros in front of the numbers if there's no hexadecimal characters that are supposed to be there. I'll go ahead and double click it to bring it down, and you'll see that it has filled it out. So how do we convert hexadecimal numbers back into decimal? So for this example, let's say I have these hex numbers here, and they're out eight places. So you see there's eight places for the hexadecimal numbers, the leading zeros here. And to convert it back to decimal, all I need to do is type equal hex, and then choose the hex to dec, which is hexadecimal to a decimal. Double click that, and select the number, press control, enter, and we have our number back here. Let me go and double click that to bring it down, and we have our hexadecimal numbers converted back to decimal. So that's how we would do it for uh, decimal to hexadecimal conversion, vice versa. Let's go into binary conversion. So our binary conversion from decimals to binary and binary to decimal, uh, also you would have to install the uh, analysis tool pack, but pretty much it's the same thing or similar to the hexadecimal conversion. Uh, I have my decimal numbers here on this column. In column B, all I need to do is type equal dec and then to bin. So that's decimal to binary. I'll select the number that I want to convert. How many places do I want it? If I don't select anything, I can just go ahead and do the close parentheses, press control enter, and it will convert it to a decimal. Let me go ahead and double click it to bring it down. And it's kind of taking up a lot of space here in this column. I'm going to double click this column to kind of auto fit it. You notice that uh, there's some different places for each of these. If we wanted to have it all go to, let's say for example, eight places, I can just type a comma here and have eight places, and all the numbers will kind of line up correctly. Uh, and then any numbers that don't appear to the left most of the number, it'll just add some zeros there. So if I press Control Enter here, it's not going to do anything for that cell because um, the binary numbers have taken most of the eight places. If I double click it to bring it down, you'll notice that now it's kind of filled it out to eight places. Anything where it doesn't have a number that would uh, represent in binary that number, it's going to bring, it's going to put the leading zeros in the front. So that's for decimal to binary. From binary to decimal, oh, I had this correct, incorrect here. This is not hexadecimal. This is binary. So let me go ahead and un let me go and just correct that momentarily. So we have our binary numbers here, and we want to do binary to decimal. So I'll type equal, and I'll do bind to decimal, which is that first one there. Just select that number, press Control Enter, and double click the fill handle here to copy the formulas down and we see we have our binary to decimal conversions here. So there's how you would do a number conversion from decimal to hex or decimal to binary or vice versa. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.